All right, welcome back to the unofficial guide to vMix. In this video, we're talking about adding NDI sources into vMix. Let's jump into it. Now, I've got no NDI sources over here. So over this way, that way. There we go, this way. Uh, let's, show, let's, add, let's add some NDI sources. Um, NDI is, stands for Network Device Interface, and it's an IP video production protocol that when you hit add input, has its own input area here, right there. And when you see that little wheel going around, that is vMix trying to find NDI sources that are automatically discoverable on your local area network. So we've got a couple different ways to bring in cameras. In fact, I've even got a camera outside of our studio, which is a fun one to play around with. So let's add that one. Now, I need to turn this uh, waveform monitor off, the color correction monitor. But this is actually a PTZ Optics outdoor camera. So we can take a look at controlling this camera as well. So that's an NDI camera that we can control over the local area network with PTZ controls. So it's not connected to my computer in any way except for Ethernet. So it's a very nice way to bring in high quality video and we can even make like presets. Um, this is kind of skipping into our PTZ camera area of the uh, tutorial videos. But for example, we have the ability to you know, do PTZ camera presets and that's all over NDI. But let's add another NDI input here. Now, a lot of people like to use NDI for sending video over their local area network, but specifically to send PowerPoint slides. So a lot of pastors will have a computer where they want to send the slides back over the local area network to their vMix production computer. Um, that's what I'm doing right now, actually. I have this computer sending video directly over to our vMix production computer. So let's add another source here. And after we do that, Let's take a look at the settings. So let's add, this is just a camera inside of our studio PC. And I'm just gonna add it in low bandwidth mode. So you have full bandwidth and low bandwidth. And then you have NDI HX. So let me just explain all of that. So NDI HX is high efficiency. That's very low bandwidth, doesn't take up a lot of resources and it's really, uh, simple. It's like between 10 and 20 megabits per second. Normal NDI sources are about, they're called high bandwidth and they can be 100 to 200 megabits per second. Better quality, but more bandwidth and overall, you know, more difficult to use on most standard networks. So that's why if we hit that low bandwidth mode ticker there, we can add it in a low bandwidth area there. And now I've got a decent looking video that I, is definitely usable, but it's, uh, it can be a higher bandwidth option as well, which is higher quality. Okay, so we've added a couple NDI sources to our production. Now let's take a look at the NDI outputs. So in settings, there's a whole section dedicated to outputs, and it has a lot of information about NDI. So we have four outputs available to us in vMix at any time. And these outputs can be used for recordings and for streaming and all kinds of different things. You could use them for your external renderer, which we'll look at soon. But essentially, we can turn NDI off and on here. So our main output is on. And now, on our local area network, anyone with NDI could get our main output. Now, let's say there was a second output we wanted. Maybe we wanted someone to be able to take a multi-view of all of the inputs in my vMix production. I click NDI on. Now that is another NDI source on our local area network. Let's say there's a specific input. Maybe it's input 14, right? And I have this special input. I can turn that on. So I can have four specific NDI mixes. Maybe they are multi-views in any input inside of vMix, right? And output, obviously, as well. If we hit the cog next to the NDI output, we can change the audio channel that's included with the NDI output. We can decide whether or not we want to have the alpha channel. If we turn the alpha channel off, it reduces the bandwidth. And we can change the resolution of our video output. So that's nice. The other thing we can do is we can just make all cameras 
all vMix calls, and all audio inputs, NDI outputs. So that's a really powerful one that is on right now in our studio PC, which is why we were able to bring up all the cameras that are accessible via our other studio directly into this vMix computer via NDI because that's on. Also, you can make all NDI outputs, all audio outputs, NDI. So there's a lot of flexibility for turning all the things in your vMix system into specific NDI outputs that can be used with the NDI studio monitor, with another computer, with OBS. There's so many different ways to use it. So let's click OK. And then I want to just show again. Oh, and we have to restart vMix to apply that. So I'm going to hit no because this is just a tutorial for right now. Now, inside of NDI, there's groups of NDI. So this is an entire group right here. And so you can see here, all the audio inputs, all the cameras are available via sources in this computer from the studio computer. And that studio PC there, that has, that's the name of that computer. So this is an NDI group of NDI settings. So I can bring in a video of Michael there. Boom. Now I have got it. And I can also um, quickly, oh, that was not the right one, was it? It's this one, I think. Um, there we go. Oh, and that's another important thing to mention, is you can right-click any of these NDI sources, and you can make them low bandwidth mode. This is I think this is actually using up a lot of bandwidth on my computer now. Um, and you can swap for what you'd like the output to be. So I could choose that change it, swap it, and do a lot of things like that. Um, so that's really good. Now I'm going to close that there. And finally, the last thing we'll look at is these NDI cameras or sources that you're using have the ability to do full color correction and color adjust. All right. That's a decent look at the NDI inputs and outputs inside of vMix. Let's get on to our next video, guys.